so in this lifetime, for you also, it's not easy to have always smooth sailing in your life because many things influence you. Because you practice your life much better. Yeah? A lot of miracles happen and things, big things become small, yeah, big trouble become small, small trouble become none. And this is okay, very good. Yeah. But trouble don't always come from your karma. Well, in a way it does, because maybe the karma leads you to eat that thing that day, and normally you wouldn't have this trouble, but because you eat that, it's a catalyst to, <laughs> to make trouble for your life. Understand now? For that moment. Yeah. So sometimes your wife, your kids behave so erratically, some unusual things. You just wait, meditate, give them blessing, yeah? share your merit. Then when that hour, when that minute, that hour pass by, you will be okay. He will be back to use yourself. Even between parents and children, between husband and wives, you don't always have good selling, not just because of her character or your personality. We are just a victim of anything. Anything, 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 anything at all. So try to meditate so you can sell over it. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no way I can tell you, okay, don't eat that, don't eat this. Then I have to prescribe each one of you <laughs> special menu because each one of you different. Different karma, different enemies, you understand? Different uh, physical uh, makeup, yeah? different background, different mm -hmm. meditation diligence, different level of uh, consciousness, then I don't have time for anything. I just sit here and write, you, one, you, 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 you. And it's not that easy even, you know? Like doctor, he has to listen to your heart, your lung, and I think then prescribe something. I was sick before, and they said, try this first. <laughs> if it doesn't work, after all the x-ray and Listen to my heart, my lung, my nose, my ear, everything already. Try this. <laughs> I say, it works, doctor. Well, try it. You know, if it doesn't work, we, we will make another one. <laughs> Just like that, and my medicine piled up like a mountain on the table. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. It's like that. This table will be full from the end to the other and hip up like that. All the medicine that later on found out that's, that's wrong and left over. Not, not just all of them together, left over. I should have taken a photo and <laughs> showed it to you why I thought all oh, these things are too negative. I don't even want to, to remember. Yeah, one time I was very sick, it's like that. So, uh, even doctor, you know, they learn so many years uh, and uh, experience with so many thousands of patients, they still don't know. This is a big hospital that I have been to, many big hospitals. And all the doctors still cannot have a clue what's wrong with me. I have to wear, what do you call it, this kind of thing, color and a thing like that already. And every little move hurts. But they did not even find out that I have some broken bone inside. And they have x-ray and everything. So many doctors, you can't blame them. It's a karma, you know? And I have to go through. Finally, one of your doctors in Taiwan suspect the real cause of it. And then uh, they suspect that, and then they send me to another hospital. And then the doctor say, immediately, must operate. And then a different medicine. And then after two years, I recover. Yeah. Now it's gone, I can tell you, okay? A little bit, not, not everything. Uh, in Mexico, Cancun, I was still under treatment, I could not walk. If it's flat, I can walk. But if it's going down the stairs or up a little bit, I need somebody to help me. Even a can is not enough. I could not even get up from the bed. I have to have a medical bed. That you push a button and the, the bed slowly, slowly rise up halfway, then I can sit up. I could not even sit up. Too much pain. Twenty doctors could not find the problem until the end when I almost <laughs> kaput already. Luckily, they found it on time. They just a little bit more time, then either I be half paralyzed or dead. Yeah. 
So even doctor want to prescribe something to you, even 10, 20 experienced doctor, they are not bad doctor. It's just the karma cover it. Truly, because I take x-ray also. If the doctor, the last doctor can see it, then the previous doctor should have been able to see it, but no, they didn't. And then they sent me from one machine to another, one room to another. Anyway, finally, it's okay, yeah. Otherwise, that year I should have been gone already. Yeah, I still live a little longer. Mm. Maybe some, some of you pray or something. <laughs> thank you, uh, any of you who pray for me at that time, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for you that I'm still here, <laughs> you still can see me. So, um, so what I mean is uh, to prescribe for each of you, you know, what to eat and not to eat is impossible. It's impossible. It takes my whole lifetime. For one person, even to detail, I have to spend at least three days. At least. Uh, uncomplicated, normal, uh, not too complicated. If complicated, maybe 30 days. Yeah. Better don't know nothing. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> That's what I said, yeah. So, but I do take care of myself wherever I can. Huh? So if I send back something, please don't think that I, uh, that I don't eat because I don't taste good. If I don't taste good, I just put some soy sauce or, or hot sauce, then it tastes good right away. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> the chili cover everything, <laughs> so you don't taste good or not good. <laughs> okay, then, now you know. Just try to meditate more, okay, to counter all this obstruction and trouble in your life. Some of the food also poisonous. Don't ask me why a very uh, innocent-looking grapes, you know, are so bad like that. The, you evoke your enemy to revenge on you, to, to attack you, to give you big trouble or small trouble, it depends. Each thing on this planet has spirit inside, okay? Has their function, okay? Like the sun. <laughs> Don't ask me why it's hot, it's just like that. The fire is hot, okay? So you, if you don't like it, then you sit further away or avoid making fire, okay? The same, so if any fruit, any food no good for you, you don't eat that. So if you eat some fruit or some food several times, every time you, you watch it, okay? Every time you feel not easy, meditate not well, or something happened bad, then maybe next time don't eat, huh? Okay? But don't try too many times, then you have nothing except rice and, uh, and soya sauce. <laughs> and then blame me, huh? Never mind, just recite the five names. Thanks all involved, visible and invisible, for your beautiful food. Okay? Let it nourish your body and your spiritual uh, body. Okay? Like, like that. Thank you and eat in all love and faith. Yeah? All right. Each one has their own quality and function. Nah? So even just a small little pill like this, it stops your pain because they put ingredients in there which come from plants and fruit and sometimes trees, you know, right? And even sometimes from animals, yeah? But we, don't, we avoid not to, okay? So what I mean is that, similar like that, every little thing, flowers or food or fruit, does have their special quality. So in that way, it affects you, because we are all connected, even though you don't see it. That's why you eat that, you connect with that, yeah? And your enemy is happen to connect with that and then you're in trouble, okay? So there's nothing like superstition or nothing like that. It's all logical and scientific. Hmm? So even some little plant, very small but poisonous. If you eat it, you die. Hmm? Hmm. So some plant is beneficial. If you eat it, your fever is gone, like quinine, also plant. Yeah, and in Chinese medicine, they take only from, from herbs and from plants, from trees. You understand? Okay, for example, like that, huh? So some fruit or food, especially it's just for some different uh, species, like for example the koala, huh? 
the very cute, cuddling, Australian little climbing uh, black and white animal is very docile and sweet in the daytime, but nighttime don't try to go too near, okay? Yeah, daytime they're inactive, right? Nighttime they're aggressive, okay? But that's not to talk about that, huh? Just by the way, they eat these um, eucalyptus bark or leaves, yeah? They're okay. Don't try. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, panda, and they eat only bamboo. Bamboo tree, bamboo root, bamboo big, bamboo small, bamboo leaves. Can you? <laughs> you cannot digest it. Yeah, even if you can. So don't try to put it in a blender and, uh, <laughs> because you want to look cute like a panda. <laughs> blender and, uh, or chop, 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 make it into powder and drink. No, <laughs> you cannot digest, not uh, like panda. They eat that, they can digest, but you cannot. There are many other species which can eat something which is very poisonous to us. They can digest, we just cannot. And that is that. There's nothing we can do about it. And don't have to <laughs> try to do anything about it, okay? We have plenty of the food to eat. That's what I meant, okay? Even tofu is poisonous. Many people cannot eat it. Even bread with the gluten, poisonous. Many people cannot eat it. They eat, they get sick, okay, in different ways. They're itching or they're pain or a heart problem, anything. You understand what I'm saying? You know, many people cannot eat bread, right? We gluten, right? You know that. That's a fact you should know. If you don't know, you look in the internet. What I mean is that, okay? It's not like you should know, but if you want to verify what I'm saying, it's true or not, that's the way I explain it to you. Some food, some fruit are not suitable for humans and su not suitable for some humans or some animals. Like we love chocolate, right? All of us. I mean, most of us like it. But you cannot give it to your dog. It will poison him, make him sick. Yeah, for example. Or avocado cannot give to dog, even though it's very nutritious and full of protein and vitamin and phosphorus, whatever. But you cannot give to dog. Apples or apple seed cannot. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So furthermore, many food, many fruit, many vegetables are also unsuitable for many humans. Uh, for me also. It's true like that. Many people are allergic to many things, including meat <laughs> or vegetable or for fruit, yeah? Or gluten or tofu. Some people cannot eat tofu. It's truly like that. And tofu is delicious for us, for many of us, but if you give it to someone, the seal, for example, they cannot digest. They will be sick, okay? It might burn their intestine or something like that. So this is a problem with our world. It's not because you eat vegan and then you guarantee a smooth selling all your life 24-7, okay? So we eat vegan because we are compassionate. We try to minimize suffering uh, wherever we can. Plants also suffer. That's why the Buddha ate only once a day and ate whatever given, already cooked. He don't want to involve in any killing, even a plant. And that's why all the master choose vegan, at least vegetarian. But different vegetarian, like in India, you see the cows roaming around free everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes the car have to stop, wait for the, the cow to have siesta, finished, and then, <laughs> and then drive through. Huh? He's still in his siesta, you know. Uh, so you tell her, uh, his afternoon tea break, he sleep, all the car waiting, long queue in India, wait until his siesta finished, mean uh, sleeping at noon, afternoon, then he walks slowly out to the grass and they can drive. Nobody touched the cow at that time, at least the Hindu people, the Indian people, okay? Even if they eat meat, they don't hurt the cow. They don't kill it themselves. But maybe other religious followers will kill it for them. In Tibet, also like that. They don't kill any lamp or any 
animal to eat. It's just there are some people who kill it. But if you eat, somebody has to, right? Some, some other religious people, they don't believe in not killing, so they do that as a job. I just, for example, master, they don't... If the really enlightened master, they don't eat meat, they don't eat fish, they don't eat anything that moves, because of love for all beings, not because of... not because thinking that they're healthier or better, whatever, yeah, mostly for love, okay, for compassion. So even if you eat vegan, you try to eat uh, just enough, huh? don't eat just because it tastes too good or eat a lot, you know? maybe now and then, you know, wedding day you must or whatever, <laughs> mother-in-law cook, you cannot not eat, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, try to eat just enough, okay, 80%, and then another 10% water, the rest is for the light, okay? Mm. Otherwise, <laughs> to fall asleep, <laughs> meditating very diligently, you sit there three hours. <laughs> okay, huh? So don't ask me why you are vegan and you're still sick. There's nothing you can avoid by being vegan, except, of course, you feel healthier than before. Mm? But you must also uh, choose, you know, eat, uh, um, I mean, moderately, yeah, okay? And don't always eat the same thing all the time, in case it's too pois poisonous or, or it's uh, um, not compatible to you, and if you keep repeating, repeating, then it's even worse. It gets worse to your body, cannot uh, your resistance, your body resistance, okay? But of course some people do that and they're still alive because they have a lot of merit or maybe they have nothing, or that vegetable or that thing have nothing against them, you know? There's no contradicting affinity, okay? But don't, don't think that is, is always like that. You must also eat variety is better, okay? And if you eat something and any time you eat that thing, is something wrong, emotionally, spiritually, or physically, then you should know, eh, avoid that thing, okay? I don't always have to <laughs> make my body a laboratory, because I know. I check before I eat, you know, nowadays. Before, when you don't have a lot of karma, you don't have a lot of disciples, okay. But if you have a lot, then your body resistance is different, less than before. You have to save your energy for, for your disciples and uh, for yourself, yeah? enough, uh, not, not to overspend. Okay, so that's like that. Now you know, huh? Any question about what you should eat tomorrow? <laughs> no? Wow, you're all enlightened. <laughs> So what should I do? I go now, okay? I have work to do. Good luck. Buddha bless you. God bless you.